Hey everybody, it's Gina here from Gina Makes It. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am doing something super fun, something that I've never done before, but something that I found to be so easy that I thought, oh my gosh, I have to make a video about this. And it's printing on fabric. I've always thought that printing on fabric was going to be something that was extremely difficult or something that my printer would give me a problem with because my printer does tend to be a little bit finicky. I have an Epson EcoTank, but I have like the home version, not the, you know, I don't know, industrial version. I don't know if industrial is the right word, but it's definitely the cheaper version of the EcoTank. And I love my printer. I love the quality. I love the ink. I rarely ever buy ink. It is really very economical and it's a great printer, but it is a little fussy. And so I wasn't sure if this was going to work and it did, it worked like a charm. So I have a piece of white cotton here that I am just um, putting some labels on the back. Now you can buy a sheet, like a label sheet that's a full sheet. I have to happen to have a whole package of some from like the 90s probably um, and they happen to be in two half sheets that's just how they are on the sheet but the important part is to have some stability on the back of your fabric and so it's going to print on the other side on the fabric side based on how I feed it into my printer and so I want the printer to think that it's a piece of paper so I'm just trimming around the label to mimic the size of a piece of paper and so this label is a piece of paper it's eight and a half by eleven or the size of a piece of paper and so it's the perfect vehicle to get the fabric through the printer and once I have all the edges trimmed, I'm going to move over to my computer so you can see exactly what I do and how it is that I print it. I print the image using Word. You could probably print straight from whatever preview program, but I like to resize my image in Word. And Word isn't exactly the best way to print pictures, but it's the easiest way. And I knew this wasn't going to be a high quality version of the picture and so it didn't really matter to me if word compressed the quality just a little bit so here is my image and this is from the february issue of gina's journal so i'm going to copy this image from preview i'm on a mac so i use preview to look at my images i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it inside of word now in Word, my margins are set to 0.2 inches, and that's what I'm showing you here. My margins are 0.2 on each side, and that's how I always print my pictures if I'm printing in Word, because I want the least amount of margin as possible. So I pasted my image here, and I wanted this image to be smaller because I want it to fit on a page inside of my journal. And so pasted it, I rotated it, and now I'm resizing it to the size that I want it to be. And so all I do is print it. I put my piece of fabric in my printer, like I said, so the fabric side is up and it's going to print on top of the fabric. And I press print and that's it. And here's my image on my piece of fabric and it looks so wonderful. I was shocked. I was like, this is amazing. Now I need to print everything on fabric. I will say I did specifically pick a white piece of cotton because I knew that the image had a white background and if I were to print on like a muslin or something that was a off-white it would look kind of funny because you would be able to see the border around it. So I was trying to match the image to the fabric and so I just pulled off the labels off the fabric and I decided to put my fabric inside of an embroidery hoop and do a little bit of slow stitching around the image that's on the fabric and so I just added a few X's underneath the saying that's on the image that says home is where the heart is so I just do some freehand X's and then I go around the image and I just add a few X's just in some areas of the image itself to create a little bit of texture and I do it in threes so it's sort of balanced overall with the whole picture itself and once I finish doing that that's when I move into my journal.
So I took the piece of fabric out of the hoop and I ironed it and I wasn't sure how that was going to work. I was like, hmm, I wonder if this ink is going to bleed or what, but I did it on the back side. So it was totally fine. It had no problems whatsoever. And this is when I decide to just add it as is like this into my journal. I love the saying home is where the heart is. And I love the little textural embellishments I did with some floss. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to rip the edges here and I'm going to put it on a page inside of my journal and that's exactly what I'm doing here and so I give a little snip with my scissors and then I go ahead and I rip and for the most part it's pretty easy to rip uh, there are a few snafus but those are easily worked around and I kind of fray the edges because I want to see that around the edges I kind of want some fraying and so the next uh, question becomes where do I put it? And so I decided to put it in the front on the first page because I really liked the way it looked next to the blue paper that I have on the inside cover, which reminds me that I'm also going to be listing three journals that are identical to this journal in my Etsy store. They should be in there. If everything goes according to plan, they should be in there right now. I have enough materials to make at least three and so i thought well i'll start with three and see if anybody wants them and if not then i'll just stay at three but i they should be there now and i'll add a comment to this video and i'll pin it to the top letting you know whether or not they're in my etsy store so i just thought that that was something that you guys might be interested in and i'll also link the video down below to where i actually create this journal so you can get a closer look if you are interested so now I'm just trimming around the edges and I literally just glue it on that right hand page now if you are a subscribe and watch member of my patreon subscription then you will have a video of me creating this left hand page and this picture right here in the upper right hand corner this is what it looks like and you'll also have another digital download a page that includes this winter wishes as well so that is going to wrap up this video again I am so pleased with this new found ability to print on fabric it has always daunted me and I was always scared of it and it's silly to be scared of your printer so don't be <laughs> as always thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time Thank you.